Hello friends, this is Santanam from Smart Leaders IS. In this video, we will be looking at the editorials which came on the 26th of February. The article that we are going to look at today is about Justin Trudeau's visit of India. It is titled Justin Trudeau's Discovery of India and the Canadian Prime Minister visited India and toured India for a period of one week and we are going to look at the details of it. So what are the positives of the visit? Firstly, the two countries signed the framework for cooperation on terrorism and violent extremism without any exceptions. They both expressed a common perspective on the freedom of navigation and overflight throughout the Indo-Pacific region. Realize that this is actually a small indication and implicit reference to the South China Sea. Canada implicitly supported India's reservations on the Belt and Road Initiative of China, saying that it is also wary of Chinese aspirations and ambitions in the region. They also agreed on their views on the Korean Peninsula with regards to the South and North Korea conflicts which has been happening and they both share the same view of uh, negotiations and peaceful diplomatic solutions. Both the Prime Ministers called for dismantling the infrastructure for support to terrorism from across borders of Afghanistan, which is a clear reference to Pakistan. They both urged the Maldives government to resume the political process as early as possible. On the Myanmar topic, on the Rohingya crisis, they pressed on the need for a voluntary, safe and sustainable returns of the refugees back to Myanmar. However, there was a central controversy with regards to his visit to India. Justin Trudeau's Liberal Party has been very soft on its approach towards Khalistan extremist movement. This is very concerning for India because Khalistan movement has been curbed by the Indian government in the 80s and 90s itself. There is peace prevailing in the Punjab region amongst the Sikh community of India. But because Justin Trudeau's Liberal Party is having a soft uh, corner to uh, these kind of separatist movements in Canada, that in India is uh, concerned that that will actually trigger such movements in India as well. So since Canada has signed the agreement on uh, countering terrorism, India will closely watch whether Canada walks the talk in regards to countering any separatist or extremist movement which is happening in Canada. So what is the way forward for uh, Indo-Canadian relationships? Canada is highly relevant to India because it is a capital, technology and innovation rich economy. And it is very inclusive and multicultural society. So there is a lot of commonalities between the two countries for them to engage with each other. Also, there are mutual interests which is supposed to strengthen the two countries to engage in strategic partnerships like the South China Sea disputes or the Korean Peninsula problem or the Rohingya crisis or the cross-border terrorism in Afghanistan. So there are many reasons for the two countries to come together and work with each other. However, for this to succeed, the Canadian leadership has to demonstrate some sensitivity to India's core concerns with regards to such Khalistan, uh, se such separatist movements. 